Well, people's been asking me to do an introductory video on Nuke. So I went out and got a learning edition of Nuke because I can't afford a seat of Nuke just for my house to do tutorials on. So I've got the um, learner's edition here, you know, at work. They have bought recently a, a seat or two of Nuke, but um, mostly it's still Shake. I think they're giving Nuke a go. Um, I myself think Shake is better and I'm going to continue to use Shake, but I get so many requests for this that I can do a, an intro video here. And this is the common interface of Nuke, as you can see here. Okay, here's our node view down here. Okay, here's our nodes and our little noodles that go between our nodes, just like everything else. Okay, um, over here is our parameters. Um, the only difference between this and shake is the node view was over here and this is all of the parameters as you can see whatever node you click on is the parameter that is going to be showing there okay and you can close these parameters by hitting this little arrow like that or you can just get rid of it all together if you want to bring it back you just double click your node and it brings it back so this is where you adjust your parameters let's bring in a um, how do you bring in a pitcher? So you want to bring in a, a regular pitcher to work on, and we'll get to that. But first, let me show you about navigation, okay? Of course, if you have a middle mouse wheel and you scroll it, it'll zoom in and out, same way with the viewer, okay? But if you hold the Alt key and left mouse click, you will get be able to pan your nodes around. If you hold the Alt key and left click in your viewer, it's also a pan. If you hold the Alt key and left mouse click, you rotate. I mean, not left mouse click, but right mouse click, you rotate. So if you hold the Alt key and left mouse click, you pan. Hold the Alt key, right mouse click, you rotate. Hold the Alt key and middle click, and you and you uh, zoom in and out. Or you can use the scroll wheel. So let me go over it again. Alt key, Alt key, left click, pan. Alt key, right click, rotate. Alt key, middle click, zoom in and out. Little different than shake, but not much, you know. So let's go ahead and bring in a picture. Um, and on a side note here, these are your nodes. This is where you bring up your nodes. Shake, they're down here. But over here, you just click on these here and it'll bring your nodes up, okay? So that's kind of different, but you know, you access the nodes, it's all visible, it's the same. They're not all laid out in shake with an icon, right? You have to click on it to get it, but you know, it's basically the same thing. Um, we can go over all these, um, settings in a later video just know that this one here is a proxy mode this one here um, toggles your um, what do you call it your, your region of interest so, so to speak okay and this one here is your um, trigger for an update if, if your update is paused, which when you're rendering, if your viewer is rendering out, you can pause it by hitting the pause key, and then you can just re-update it by hitting that, okay? Um, and for now, that's basically all. Oh, these sliders here. Here's our gain slider. You can see now this gain slider and gamma sliders, over here's gamma, doesn't affect your output, but it does affect your viewport, okay? And that's all. So how do we go about bringing in a piece of footage, Okay. And what, another thing you can see about Nuke is it is 3D, a real 3D environment. You know, as you can see, that's a cube. And you can add all the geometry you want here. You can see you can go here and add geometry. You can add cubes, cylinders, spheres. Now, you can't work on them like you can in a 3D app. But um, believe me, this opens up a whole new set of things you can do, magic you can create. So let me select my cube node and just delete it by hitting the delete key. Now you'll see in, we have a viewer tab node. In Shake, all you had to do was click the button on the right of the node and it would show up in the viewer. But not with Nuke. You have to connect your nodes to a viewer node, okay? So how do we bring in a node? Well, you can drag and drop just like Shake. Or you can go up here and you can say read in, okay? You can hit the tab key and start typing read. And it'll bring up all the, like in Houdini. Um, you can right click. And you can bring them in this way, your note in your nodes. Um, there's several ways you can do that. So what I'm going to do is just going to have tap the tab key, type read, select my read node, and it'll bring up a dialog box, and you can navigate to your media. But all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and drop a logo in here. 
So you got to just drag and drop these two in, and boom, there they are. Now if I, could, if I take this and zip it into that viewer there, okay, hit my tab key, and now as you can see, my picture is in my viewer, and these little dots are just part of the learning edition, so if you're wondering what that is. Okay, so remember the tab key is what takes you from your perspective view kind of to your scene view there. So now we have our picture in. As you can see, we couldn't see our picture till we connected it to this read node. Okay. Let's make this a little smaller. Okay, now let's do a basic composite. Let's, as you can see here, let me disconnect this. And let me disconnect in this logo. Now we have a logo, but you can see I have my area of interest turned on, and we can adjust the area of interest, however you see fit, but I'm just going to turn that off, okay? And now we have our logo here, and we have our movie, which is just an MPEG, or an MOV file, with the guy running down the street, okay? Really good for compositing stuff if you want to composite something. So let's just do a real quick composite. There's several ways of doing this. We need to bring in basically an overnode. So you can do it several ways. You can right click and go to your merge. Go down to merge and give it a merge. And that can, and it brings in a merge node. Now over here you can see we have our merge node here. Okay, And this is the operation. We can make it an over, and a divide, exclusive, any one of these operations you can make it. And we'll just make it an over. And we want our logo which is A, will be on top, over our MOV file. So I'll bring it down, connect it. And now we have them connected, but as you can see, we can't see it because we've got to pull it into the viewer. Okay? Okay. Now let's go ahead and add a transform node onto this, right there. And now you can see that adds a transform node into my tree. And I can take my handles and I can move it around. Whatever I want. Now this is over this. Okay, very simple. Now if you look over here, here's all of our properties. Let me close these down. We have our transform node, our merge node, and our read node. We can open them up as we see fit and work on them. We can close them all together. And just double click the node if we want to bring back up the parameters. Okay. So here I've got three nodes in there. So I've got it set to which every one I click goes right to the top, okay? And this is really nice, the way they got these parameters set up. I really like how, they, how, they, how you can do this, how you can close them, minimize them, you know, and you can have a, all your parameters that are in your tree visible if you want. It's really, really nice, really nice. So that is how you do a very, 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 very simple composite in Nuke. Now, it works the same way if you want to um, export. So instead of bringing in a read node, let's go up here and let's bring in a write node. And now we have our write node, okay? We can connect that in. Okay, now we have our write node and we just need to go up here and um, set our, our um, settings. Um, we can select our file and let's see here. Let's put it on the desktop. Okay. Okay. Now, just like anything else, you're going to want to select the file type, okay? So, we'll go down here to our file type, and I'm going to select MOV, like that. And we can call it test. Okay. And let's see if there's anything else. We can set our codec, whatever codec you want to use. So I'm going to say, let's just say H.264, like so. And you say you hit the um, render key, and it's going to ask you how many frames to render. You say OK. Now, as you can see, it's going to go through here, and it's going to render. 
So let me let this render out here for a second. And I'll get right back in touch with you guys as soon as she gets done. And it looks like she's done. So now as you can see, right here we go. Here's our test movie. If I open it up, we have our... Now remember, the dots are from because it's a learning edition. So it kind of interferes, but it helps me demonstrate basic compositing. Okay? So that is a very, 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 very simple way to do a rough over composite, okay? And this was meant just to show you how things work. If people enjoy this tutorial, we'll start more in depth. We'll start, we'll go over the interface, we'll go over some operations, and, and we'll try to cover it like I have Shake. But this was just to give you guys a little taste of how it works and how it feels. If you like it, let me know and I'll be more than happy to make more. Thanks for watching.